Hi, so I made this stool off of the plans from Christopher Schwartz's website. Uh, the only deviation I made from his plans was that I did through tenons on the stretchers because uh, before that when I was sitting on the stool the legs splayed so much that the stretchers came out. Uh, now it's rock solid. The legs are made from ash and the seat is from catalpa and it very comfortably holds me up, no splay or movement in the legs. Now, before I made this stool, I made two out of SPF from Home Depot. You might call them my stool samples. The problem with these is that uh, there's a lot of play in the legs, and in fact when I sat on the first one on a nice smooth floor, the back leg snapped right off and I ended up on my butt and almost produced another kind of stool sample. So, I thought we would try to take a look at this stool and figure out why the legs are moving so much, whether it's due to bad wood choice, poor joinery on my part, uh, too much splay in the back leg, or something else entirely. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some of my formidable weight on this stool so we can take a look at what happens with the legs. You'll notice them I'm not putting all my weight on there because I'm afraid it's going to break. But you'll notice it's splayed out significantly. So you'll notice I am standing here holding not a stool but three legs and a, and a seat. My, uh, sadly on the last shot my camera operator hit stop before the main event when I apparently put a little too much force on the seat and as you'll see all three leg the legs snapped. You'll see that they all snapped at the base of the tenon. There's broke on long grain, it doesn't look like there's any run out problem. And all of the ends of the tenons are still very firmly there inside the chair. No movement. They're doesn't, I don't think it's a problem with the way the, the tenons were seated inside the chair. So that leads me to believe that crappy SPF from Home Depot is not a great choice for this stool. Um, perhaps not even ash. Uh, I kind of like the look of the through tenons on the finished model, and that's probably what I'll do on future ones as well. 